Hi, this is Megan with Beataholic, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wrapped wire loop. And this is for use with a similar application as a simple wire loop, except it's going to give you a little bit more of a secure fastening. And it's also nice if you're going to stack beads and you want to keep them snug together, uh, then a wrapped wire loop is good for that. The simple wire loop, however, you can open the wrapped wire loop you need to either attach it as you're making it to what you're attaching it to or use a jump ring because you can't open it and close it. So the first thing you're going to do is grab a pair, or first thing you're going to do is put your bead onto your head pin or your eye pin. And then you're going to take a pair of chain nose pliers and you're going to grasp right above the bead. Now you're going to use your finger to push the wire over at about a 90 degree bend and you're going to do that above the pliers to give yourself a little bit of gap there. That's where you're going to have your wrapping. Then use the round nose pliers to grab right above that bend and pull the end of the wire around the pliers. And you're going to rotate so that you can pull the wire all the way around so that you create a 180 degree circle and also I'm sorry, a 360 degree circle, and also so that your, your tail is at a perpendicular angle to the little piece you have sticking up there. Then you're going to hold on to the loop, and then with your chain nose pliers, wrap around from top to bottom. You're going to just wrap the tail all the way until you reach the bottom of your extra little section there. And then use a pair of flush cutters to trim. Now, when you get almost to the very bottom, when you just have the, the wire at an angle and you have a little tiny spot left, leave yourself a very short piece of wire to fit into that spot and cut off the rest. And then you're going to just use your chain nose pliers to tuck that end into place there so that it doesn't stick up and have a sharp end. And then you can always kind of reshape and straighten out your, your loop. And that's how you make a wrapped wire loop.